everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about a topic which sparks my curiosity and also some recent controversy, Tesla Autopilot. Question, is it self-driving? Basic Autopilot is a hands-on driver assistance system that is only intended to be used with a fully attentive driver. And today I'm going to put that to the test. I've set up an in-cabin camera to catch out any of the on-screen alerts and time how long it takes before the car prompts to take control. So stick around and let's find out what will happen. But spoiler alert, unfortunately, you can't lay your chair back and have a nap. So let's start by breaking it down and asking five questions. Who, what, when, where, and why? First up, who is driving? Autopilot uses eight cameras around the vehicle to give it 360 degrees of viewing. One, two, three on the front windscreen. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. This camera suite provides an awareness to the surroundings that the driver alone would not have. A powerful onboard computer processes all of this information in a matter of milliseconds. It will then use this information to either increase or decrease speed to maintain separation from other vehicles, while also turning the steering wheel to stay between mark lanes and help make driving safer and less stressful. While this manipulation of the controls may look like driving, it's not. The driver is in control and responsible for all inputs. Tesla's website states, current autopilot features require active driver supervision and do not make the vehicle autonomous. If it's not that great, why use autopilot? The city of Perth where I live is known as the world's most isolated big city. That's because of the closest city is Adelaide, which is 2,600 kilometers away. Nearly 60% of respondents from Western Australia agree that driving while fatigued is the most dangerous. And this is where autopilot could truly help make our roads safer for all. My personal experience is that autopilots changed my life. I work full time and often play in a band, which results in very late nights coming home in the early hours of the morning, exhausted. Previously, I'd use lots of techniques like winding down the window and putting my hand outside to feel the wind and help me stay awake, or even slapping myself in the face. Now with autopilot, I've never used these techniques anymore as it takes care of the more burdensome part of the driving. I no longer have to allocate that part of my brain power to sit there monitoring and adjusting those controls. Now I can relax and enjoy the drive, which is why I love autopilot. Let's get on the road and answer our other questions. So where does autopilot function best? Can be used just about anywhere. And while we're driving along at the moment with this example on a standard suburban road in a 60 zone, we can see that there is constant line markings and the indicator is showing a gray steering wheel, meaning that autopilot and auto steer is ready. We can activate autopilot. Auto steer is manipulating the steering wheel to stay between the marked lines. Autopilot is not gonna work on roads like this. However, the best use case example is on freeways and long burdensome drives where it can be used as an effective driver assistance tool. Why am I doing this? Tesla is about to roll out penalties for improper use of autopilot due to a recent recall issued by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, who said that Tesla's autopilot is open to foreseeable misuse. The software update will have increased prominence of visual alerts, simplifying the engagement and disengagement of auto steer, as well as additional checks upon engaging auto steer. According to the recall, the driver will face eventual suspension from auto steer if the driver repeatedly fails to demonstrate continuous and sustained driving responsibility while the feature is engaged. I'm doing it so that you don't have to. Next question. When does autopilot determine the driver is not actively engaged? Tesla has multiple ways of assessing an engaged driver. Number one being the steering torque. The steering wheel is constantly measuring the torque force applied against the steering wheel to make sure that an active driver is present. We can see here on the display console asking for the driver's hands to be placed back on the wheel. Once they're rested and applying that slight force, it goes away. Another example is the in-cabin camera, which is always looking at the eyes of the driver to make sure that they're focused on the road outside. This is to ensure the driver is not distracted with any handhold devices, sitting there playing with a phone, or even the Tesla's own information display. Okay, looking over here, let's choose this one. Hands are still on the steering wheel. Oh! 
So as you can see, even though my hands are on the steering wheel, it wants me to keep looking forward on the road. Next question, what happens if there is no response from the driver after the autopilot alerts? So all of this has left me wondering what would happen in the scenario if the driver fell asleep while autopilot was active. I've driven out to a road which I know is quite slow with traffic, so let's find out together. Autopilot's ready, activating autopilot. Even though we're going into an 80 speed zone, I'm gonna set it as 60. Okay. Let's see how long it takes and what happens. My hands are above the steering wheel, ready to take control at any moment. I'm surprised. I would have thought it'd give me alert by now with my hands just above it. Interesting. It's got a rise in the hill coming up ahead. I wonder if it can see beyond that. Ooh, that's quite a while. There we go. First visual alert. Apply slight turning force to the steering wheel and we have a flashing blue indicator trying to get the driver attention. Ooh, the flashing is intensifying and speeding up. Audible alert, and the hand icon has now gone red. No traffic around me. Second audible alert, two beeps. There we go, red, auto steer unable for the rest of the drive. Brake is being applied, whoa, oh! That was an aggressive slowdown and hazard lights are on. Whew. Okay. Back in drive. Wow, that was aggressive. That was not using regen braking. That was applying hard brakes to bring the car to a stop as soon as possible. I must admit, I'm very surprised for the time it took before it even gave up the first alert. That is quite a long time without hands on the steering wheel. However, I was impressed with the visual alerts and the audible alerts, making sure that even if you did fall asleep, surely that would wake you up. So let's wrap up this video on autopilot, confirming that it is not self-driving. It's your trusty co-pilot enhancing your driving experience until the one day that full self-driving becomes a reality. It is crucial to understand that the driver is in control and responsible at all times. So if you like this video and found it educational or entertaining, please hit the like button. If you'd like to see more of my content, please consider subscribing as that really fuels my motivation for making more of these videos on the goal to 1000 subscribers. Cannot wait to hit that day. Thanks so much for watching. Sincerely hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one. Bye.